Welcome back to Larry Beatrice's YouTube channel. Today we'll be learning how to make an altar neck shift dress with bishop collar and an external belt. It's a short dress, so kindly stay tuned if this is what you want to learn. And we'll be achieving this after the class. So subscribe to our channel if you haven't subscribed and click on the notification bell so that you get notified every time we upload a new video. Thank you. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we'll be learning how to make an altar neck shift dress. Okay, so to do this, I already draft parts of my basic bodies. This is the chest line, the waist line, and this is the hem line. Okay, so on the chest line, I've done my basic neckline measurement. On the front side, I went from here by three inches, three inches by three inches for my front neckline measurement three inches by three and for the back measurements the width remain the same three inches but in this case the length is one inch so this is the my back neckline curve this is the back and this here is my front neckline curve i went ahead to take my shoulder measurement i went that by one inch for my shoulder slope and i joined it and here I took my shoulder measurements down so that I can get my arm hole cuff. Okay, so that is what I have done so far. Now to continue with this, I'll continue with my measurements. The bust measurement I'm working with is 36 inches. Divided by 4 is going to give me 9 inches. So this is 9 inches right here. But I'll be adding 1 inch allowance for ease because this is not going to be a tight dress. And I'll add another 1 inch allowance for seam allowance you can have this on your pattern or you decide to transfer this last one inch when you are transferring to your fabric so i'll add to this pattern now so my pattern includes allowance so now on my waistline my waist measurement is 30 inches so 30 divided by 4 is going to give me seven and a half i had one inch for east that's eight and a half and then i'm going to add another one inch for my seam allowance so like i said you can add this at this point or you just decide to add it when you are transferring to your fabric on my m line the m line i measure the my hip line is 38 inches where by far is going to give me where by first going to give me nine and a half but i don't want it i want it a little bit free so to that nine and a half okay so this is the nine and a half i'll be adding like three inches to that nine and a half okay and i think this is okay for me so i'll be connecting from here to here and then down to my m line okay i hope you understand that okay so now that we have this now we can work on our neckline the dress is looking short is this short because i'll be adding a gathers around the hemline okay so the actual length measurement is supposed to be 38 inches but i want to add an 8 inches gathers that's why i'm stopping it at 30 inches then i'll cut out an 8 inch i'll cut out 8 inches fabric and then gather it to my M line like this okay so let's continue now remember this is an altar neck neck line so and it's going to be having like a bishop collar so before i cut out my altar neck i want to measure out what i have on my neckline so that i will be able to cut out my collar okay so just take your measure uh, your taper and measure around your neckline so for the back measurement i have three and quarter so i'm going to write it down the three and quarter for my back 3.25 and then for my front neckline i have I have four and a half so this is going to guide me when i want to draft my my collar so now i can cut out my altar neck and before i do this i'll go down by either one one and a half or two inches from my shoulder point so this is my shoulder point okay this is two inches or i can just go down by let's say one and three quarter so this is one and three quarter here you can go down by one and a half one or two inches like i said so using my curved ruler i'm going to link my mark the one and three quarter mark i have it to my ham o okay so i'm going to take my ruler now and 
find a very good curve and then connect them together so once i have this now i'm going to be connecting them like this okay so now that i've connected it i have my outer neckline i can cut this off so using my scissors i'm going to cut the unwanted part of my neckline okay so this is going to be having a cold shoulder so i'll join like sleeve around here Not going to be an armless dress so this is our pattern i'll be cutting this on my main fabric now i'll cut out the back neckline first before i reshape the front neckline and on the front you can see there are some gathers around the neckline so i'm going to be leaving like one or two inches or one and a half inches before i place my pattern on it and the back is going to be having like a slash or zipper so that you know it's a total neckline so that the person can wear it easily so now i've cut this on my fabric so this is the back if you intend to use zipper you're going to be leaving like one inch zipper allowance like i did so this is the back panel and this is the front remember i said i want my fronts to have some gathers so i just left like two inches before i placed my pattern for the front and for the back i left around one and quarter for the zipper allowance if you are putting zipper allowance but i'm not putting zipper allowance on this i'm just going to be slashing it so the excess that i have here i'll also gather it back to my actual back measurement so now to cut my front neckline i'm just going to remove my pin and then fold in my back so that I can have access to my front neckline and then using my scissors I'm going to cut it okay so it's very simple I hope you understand this okay so this is my front neckline I'll notch where or you can just gather it and use your pattern as a guide so i'll not be throwing this away once i gather my front i'll hide it back so i'm going to go it back to my back so that it will guide me in gathering my back to my actual measurements also so this is my front and this is my back okay so now there is no we are not going to be doing much sewing on it i'll just turn this side with a bias remember i'll still be adding sleeve to this it's a cold shoulder sleeve so i have my sleeve here ready so i'll be adding a cold shoulder sleeve to this like this i'll be gathering a bit of the sleeve also i had my sleeve to it and i also had my collar so I've drafted my collar also and I'll be that was why I measured the neckline parts before I went ahead to cut out my altar neck. So now I'll be taking us through the sewing step by step so that we don't get confused. I'll detach this from my fabric now and then the first thing I'll be doing is to gather my neckline so this is the back and this is the front so this front neckline have running some gathers here okay something like this so that it's going to give me my actual my actual front neckline measurements and i'll also be slashing my back open not completely just a bit like four or five inches so that it will give enough room for the wearer to be able to wear it remember it's a total neckline so i'll be slashing it at the midpoint open like this and then just like my front remember this is the pattern for 
a back neckline so i'll gather a little bit of the excess that i have so that i can have my actual back measurements also and then here i'm going to turn it with bias before i attach my collar so that's so neatly okay so i've gathered the neckline as you can see and i also want to, to sew it on the sides okay so turning it out now we have something like this so this is the front and this is the back so if you want to see what you gathered if it's correct you just need to fold it into two remember we cut on fold and then you're going to place your pattern on it so that you'll be sure that you have what you're supposed to have okay so the next thing i'm just going to do now is to sew in my sleeves so I'm going to do two sleeves. Like I said, I'll be adding elastic on the upper part here, and I've also gathered the lower part of the sleeve. So I'll just sew my two sleeves to my dress on both sides, like this. So I'll sew it like this on the two sides. I'm going to sew it together. It's a cold shoulder sleeve, so this place will be exposed. I'll show it together. Then I'm going to turn the rest of the sleeve that will, that will not be sewn with bias because we can't leave it like this. I'll also turn the slit that we made at the back with bias before we then put our collar on the neckline and also. I've already cut my 8 inches long fabric that I'm going to be gathering at the M line of the dress. So I'll go ahead and gather all this to my dress now. So the sleeves have been fixed now. You can see the sleeve. And I've also added the gathers to the M line. And I went ahead to turn the rough edges with bias so that they can also be neat. So the next thing I'm going to do now is just to put my collar. Okay, so that's the last thing we're going to do. We're going to be putting our collar around the neckline and our dress is ready. So the the band have been fixed now. So this is the neck collar sorry so this is the neckline collar i fixed it i'm going to fix a hook here and a shift dress is ready you can see how beautiful this is looking so i made an external belt that i'm going to be using to tie it around this area to give it some fit remember it's a free dress so i just hang this on the mannequin now so that we'll see what it looks like okay so this is the dress on the mannequin you can see the color and the full bodies so you can see how lovely this is and it's looking so beautiful so you can try yours and let's see what you come out with kindly like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't and click on the notification bell so that i get notified anytime i upload a new video see you in the next one bye